There is strength in our numbers as we share with one another. There is power in shadows and be silent any longer. Our voice is alive and our fear has died. And our fear has died. Now that we stand side by side, we won't stand. And our fear has died. Okay, now we have another chant for you to learn. Uh, oh what's gosh. against the world? It's against the world? Yeah, so if we change it to we are one against the world. Our back's against the law. And we're tired of it all in the thick. Tired of it all in the thick of it. Sing that one later as well. You're going to sing with us. Is there somebody behind that mask? <laughs> What's your name? Besides, Jordan. That one was short. We are one against the world. <laughs> hey, is that the rap? But it shouldn't be put out in school. It's like, it's like when we're staying home or we're working. My plan is we can get there who's not supposed to be there. According to the managers of the building. And he. Now let me see what you look like. Remember Ed Murphy? Your voice is alive and our fear has died. One voice. Our numbers as we share with one another. There is power together as we stand side by side. Not all poor men are honest, not all rich men are thieves But the rich man owns the archery and all the poor man rakes the leaves And as the world goes around, I said all I want to ask is If the rich man owns the land, why must the poor man pay the taxes? Why does justice go so slow? Black minister in Memphis town, black prince in Audubon Hall we use different guns in Cape Town, but the same bullet shot them all. South Africa's a ghetto, you know, but it's pretty good just like glass. One world with different colors, you know, there ain't no second class. from uh, Al Franken. Yeah. That's right, he's on SNL and glad to have him. No, seriously, here's his message, brothers and sisters. As a member of four labor unions, I know personally the importance of collective bargaining. For decades, my family's health care was covered through the American Federation of TV and Radio Artists and the Writers Guild of America. Now, as working Americans under assault, we find ourselves at a crossroads. We know all too well that Scott Walker's real purpose is not about balancing budgets, it's about busting unions! And in this challenging moment, I have one message. Solidarity! 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 Sisters and brothers, in 1932, our union was founded in Madison, Wisconsin. When a, and frankly, when a Republican governor was elected, a Democratic governor was elected, going to fire all the state employees who were hired under the previous administration, and a guy named Arnold Zander stood up and said, we need a professional public service. And that was the beginning of the public sector trade union movement in America. It was a trade union movement 
that brought us the eight-hour day. It was the trade union movement that stopped child labor. It was the trade union movement that brought us the minimum wage. It was the trade union movement that brought us the weekend. It was the trade union movement that brings us health care. It's the trade union movement that built the middle class. And you can't have the mind. So, Governor Walker, Governor Walker, here's what we say to you. You can stop collective bargaining, maybe, for a little while, but you will not stop collective action until we win! Yeah. No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! No Workers' rights are human rights! Governor Walker is asking middle-class families to sacrifice. Well, our Wisconsin brothers and sisters have sacrificed. To, the, to them I say, for the last two years you have had zero wage increases. For the last two years you have accepted 16 unpaid negotiated furlough days. You have already sacrificed. Democracy looks exactly like it does on these snowy cold steps today. Congratulations for a great turnout. what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. As if anyone anywhere has to explain what it means to be human. Do we need to explain to our government over and over again why we support the struggle for humanity as we ourselves get old, carry illness, or exhaust ourselves? to raise a healthy, educated, and caring family. Let us recall Daniel Ellsberg, a courageous journalist who exposed Vietnam, war of lies, and now a brave defender of Julian Assange, Private Bradley Manning, and truth in government and journalism. You should see yourselves. You're amazing. You're beautiful. The labor movement has been the key cornerstone to the movement for civil rights and social justice for many, many years in this country. Thank you very much. This is what our country was founded on. Everyone is created equal in the eyes of the law. That's what Governor Walker needs to know. Paul Wellstone said it best, we all do better when we all do better. And you know what's going to happen? The people of this state will rise up and say, enough, yeah. enough, yeah. we have built, yeah. enough, yeah. Enough. Yeah. enough, 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 we have yeah. built, they're going to say, we have built a great state, great communities, great transportation, great schools, we have built a state that has a clean environment, an amazing quality of life, and is built on respect and tolerance and the notion of fair play. In 1968, 1,300 sanitation workers in Memphis, Tennessee had no right to bargain, had no voice in the workplace. There were sanitation workers, African Americans, who couldn't even use their own washrooms in their own workplace. They said they had to stand up for their own recognition, that they had to gather together collectively. And they stood up famously with signs that said, I am a man, said, I am a man. And they walked and they picketed and they struck for recognition, not for a nickel, not for a dime, not for a balanced budget, but for a simple fact of human existence. They wanted dignity and respect in their lives. A great American named Dr. Martin Luther King joined them in that strike. He joined them in that strike and walked that picket line, and in the course of that action, he was assassinated. Sisters and brothers, the right to a voice in the workplace is the right to collectively bargain, and without it, there isn't dignity and respect. And I want you to know, they won that strike. along the way. That's what struggle is. It's never easy. But if we endure and we stick 
and we stay, we will win. And I want you to know, all over this country, all over the United States right now, in 50 states, 50 states, 50 states, 50 of them, all, there are people standing for unions, rights, workers' rights, just like we are right now, right here. Not just Walker, but defeat Coke brothers and everything they represent. behind Walker, don't we? Yeah. We know who that evil guy behind the curtain is, right? Yeah. And just like Dorothy wasn't scared of that guy after they pulled the curtain down, we ain't scared of Coke neither, are we? Yeah. We ain't scared of that guy at all. We know who it is. And I'm telling you right now. Put your money where your mouth is. Follow the money. Follow the money, somebody said. Follow the money. That's right. I heard somebody say, Follow the money. They stole Florida, then they stole Ohio. But my point is, we still organized, and there was a young state senator in Illinois who joined that movement. Yeah. He joined that movement. He didn't start the movement. He didn't. He didn't begin the movement. He joined the movement. That's right. That's right. And he was an articulate spokesman for the movement. Yeah. And it propelled him forward to the presidency. I'm telling you right now, we gotta get busy and keep the movement going. It's not, it's not about one person. It's not about one leader. It's not even about one president. It's about you. It's about me. It's about us sticking together. We're not into the, what one person can do. We're in what all of us together can do. That's because, because the people united will never be defeated. You know what? And I'm telling you, the people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. But David Cope and the people who think like him think that he does better when we do worse. Right? You gotta understand that. We believe that we all do better when we all do better. He believes he does better when we do worse. He believes he does better when we got to work for anything they offer. He does better when our jobs go overseas. He does better when he's attacking our public workers and teachers who help educate our people. We got to be clear. We got to be clear of what we're up against. We got to have the same or more resolve than they got. We got to stick and we got to stay.